Next news. God gave me an anointed vagina. What? Okay. You only have to sleep with me and get healed of all your fertility problems. Pastor Mrs. Veronica Two Men. Okay, so the news... That was a weird headline, but let's see what the summary is. It's probably even weirder than the headline. The summary is, Pastor Mrs. Veronica, who is the founder of Life of Faith and Prosperity Ministry. Where the hell is this? Let me actually figure out the location. Location is Asaba, Nigeria. Of course. Um, so, as, so in Delta State, uh, has made a wonderful statement and Wonderful. Who wrote this? This is Hamad Mehta, isn't it? Oh, no. So, so whoever wrote the summary is being sarcastic. Let me just make that clear. Some people can't notice uh, sarcasm. Has made a wonderful statement and offer a solution to men who have infertility problems. She said during a church service, she was offering a sermon and said that any man that makes love to her will be healed of his fertility problem. She said that her mission on earth is to cure fertility problems in men and once any of them sleeps with her and her body f and her bl body fluid touches his cucumber what the hell such a man will be healed of his fertility problem she went ahead to give her phone number <laughs> so that any man with such a problem can contact her for a session okay the weirdest thing weirdest part of this is that she has no problem saying vagina but she refers to people's dicks as cucumbers um cucumber okay what this is so weird i don't even know so basically she's a she's a prostitute that is using religion as a marketing this is genius by the way she's now becoming the most prop is she charging obviously she's charging no i'm actually what's i'm really bothered by this because she said her bodily feel yeah fluids, they're not using condoms right this is unsafe sex which is a real huge problem in sub-saharan africa with regards to not just regular stds but in particular hiv aids and a big issue there is getting people to use condoms. They're Wait, working isn't she gonna so die? hard on that. Isn't she going to die soon if she's going to be like, hey, here's my number. People come have sex with me without any... Like, I let, don't know. Let I mean, us, I'm inferring us, that on, wait, from wait, what she's wait, saying but, about bodily fluids. I mean, maybe she's letting wait. them... Maybe she's going to make them use condoms. But the fact that she's saying that almost gives me the sense that the bodily fluids touching the cucumber sounds like there's no latex in between. Of course not. And that really is a problem because, I mean, there's people that have been working for years and years and years and years to make the idea of using condoms socially acceptable to people. And, and I just, I'm like, wow, lady. All right, this. but uh, let me finish what I was saying because I was saying that it, she's not going to survive this. If she's saying like, hey, everybody come have sex with me and let our body fluids touch. So she's, it, it takes one person in this whole mess to infect everybody else, right? I mean, you are astronomically increasing your chances of STDs and I don't know what else. And now, the, wait, does Corona passes through? Um, no, it doesn't. But you're getting close. I don't know. You're muted, Rivka. Oh, Corona's respiratory. It's through bot droplets, but still. Yeah, but you're still close enough. Whatever, the body fluids part and sexually transmitted infections is just wow. Yeah, I mean, even... Okay, so first of all, I, th I thought this woman is a genius, but now I'm thinking she's a moron and she's going to get herself s sick. Because I th at first I was like, okay, she's a con artist, but she's a very clever con artist, that she's being a prostitute, but she's using people's gullibility as a way to charge a lot of money 
for not just like people like oh my god I get to sleep with a woman and I get to get healed at the same time so ch she's gonna charge like 10 times more than your average prostitute right especially if it's like divine stuff associated with it so people are gonna be lining up and she put a number out there like she's gonna need 10 secretaries to be able to just go through those phone calls <laughs> right? <laughs> right so I don't know how many like I think that phone number is completely useless right now how many people are going to be calling her? It's publicly available. So at first I was like, this is genius. She should have, she should like, she could do this and have like 10 people behind a uh, phone and taking people's numbers and charging them a lot of money. But that the part that makes her an idiot is the whole fluid part touching because you're going to be very rich for a very short amount of time. If you're just having unprotected sex with so many people, right? Unless it's a big lie and she's just going to not really have sex with them and she does something, Ooh. gives them some kind of roofie and makes them think that they have sex. And I don't know. The whole thing's just weird. But I do know that religiously there is a history in a lot of religions and um, about sacred prostitutes. And I know that Shabham can probably talk about that in some Hindu traditions and I know in a lot of pagan traditions so the idea of having sex with someone to heal yourself or as a means to a god isn't necessarily bizarre in terms of religious traditions it's pretty common in a lot of religions or it used to be but I don't know this just to, in this day and age, if it's actually happening, it's unsafe. <laughs> you know, in Africa, what passes as Christianity is taking a whole bunch of different shapes. Like I would, I know it's. I like to blame things on Christianity and Islam all every all the time, but a lot of these things, you can't find any traces of these things in anywhere in the Bible. Like they have, t you know, the the Christians in Africa, they have taken the art of making it up as you go to a whole new level like these the i've seen things that people do in churches in africa that like what the like this the seems to like e each church is doing something so different from the other church and so bizarre and so it's so it's amazing i mean it would be so entertaining if what people weren't being harmed by it but it's just so bizarre like christianity in africa it's just weird, bizarre. We have wish burning. You have people just having funeral for people that are dead, but they're all of a sudden climb out of their coffin. And you have women that are, have divine vaginas. You have, you know, so many weird things. We have people kicking pregnant women in their tummy, trying to heal them from I don't know what. Um, you have you have people touching themselves in weird places in the in, in the ground and the church crawling around the garden and all the people just in the church just watching them i don't know just africa i don't know what's happening with africa are you are you describing africa or are you describing catholics in india because catholics in india oh, yeah. have seen them do that <laughs> yeah yeah actually you're right christians catholics in india also do take this but none of this is in the bible i don't know why I think Muslims have a stronger leash on their people. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of weird things that Sufis and Shias do at the same time. But I think Sunni Muslims, Sunni scholars have a tighter leash on their people as what's... No, this is like, do, do not do that. This is not Islam. I understand that we ha you have exceptions like people like, oh, Islam is gay friendly. But those are fringe. Most Mus Sunni Muslims are very... You're like, okay, no, this is Islamic, this is not Islamic. We're very clear of where the boundaries are. And they call it bid'ah, like innovations. As soon as people try to come out a little bit, I think Sunni, Sunni, the Islamic, Sunni Islamic community has managed to done a better job at be like, do not go off track with what's Quranic and Hadith more than Christians and Hindus. Hindus never had that to begin with anyways. But what, do, yeah. I was going to say, I think that Islam and Judaism tend to be more similar in that there's a lot of rules that make the religion. As long as you're following the rules and you ha there's a box and you've got to stay within the box. 
whereas Christianity seems to be more friendly and more open to absorbing all kinds of other things and turning it into your version of Christianity. Because if you look at Christianity as it's practiced in a lot of the Western world, it's some Christianity from the Levant and a lot of paganism. And then you go to India and there's Catholicism there and a lot of whatever that their version of it is. And then in Africa and then in South America, um, there's a lot of indigenous native stuff mixed with it. And in Central America, it just seems like as a as a ideology, it just seems more open to allowing other stuff to absorb into it or it absorbs other stuff and then it just merges into whatever whereas judaism and islam have these rules and this is it and you're either one of us or you're not yeah yeah and that's what the really religious jews say you know you're not one of us or you are one of us. I mean, That's actually there are exceptions, but in general, there is more. It, yeah, in yeah. general, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So another godless atheist is saying, by the way, we lost Chopin. I think th there's a yeah, storm. There's a maybe storm. his storm. There's yeah. a storm happening. Yeah. Another godless atheist saying, don't sub-Saharan Christians mix witchcraft voodoo into their belief system. Serious questions. Yes, they do. And they also burn the witches. So it's kind of like contradictory. So they, they're very much anti-witchcraft and voodoo because they're Christian. And they also let witchcraft and some witch elements of witchcraft and voodoo and into their Christianity. So it's kind of contradictory, but it, it's, it's religion. What do you expect? Um, the top comment is saying, I will believe in God no matter what is the result as long as it's free. So it's t referring to the headline. The top comment is saying, if I, if I get to sleep with this woman for free, then I will believe in God. Um, I would not sleep with somebody that is exchanging bodily fluid with so many people, so I would not suggest that. Uh, I do still want to know if this was fr if she's charging, because if she's like, is she charging or is, I'm I'm think she's charging or if she's not charging, I have no idea what her motivation is behind all of this, unless she's completely insane. Um, her motivation is she wants to heal people oh, for yeah. God. Sure. Um, <laughs> another person is saying, oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, Chopin, you're back, but you need to mute yourself. There's so much background noise. Yeah. Um, another person is saying, I had a vasectomy. Does that count? I don't know if she can heal your vasectomy. Well, uh, <laughs> all right. So, Chopin, you're back. Did you want to add anything? Before? Yeah, I'd, I yeah no I, I just don't, don't know what happened you don't need to explain yeah. that's that's too much yeah. okay okay all right that's fine news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 